Hey everybody, this is Jerichos and welcome back to Puppeteer! Last time, we finished up Act 6 and defeated General Dragon. In doing so, we have now taken care of every general of the Moonbear King except Monkey. As we go into our final act, we're gonna chase Monkey down and hopefully defeat him. Let's begin the final act. Kutaro had decommissioned Dragon. But now the Moonbear King possessed a dreadful power. With the witch in captivity, what was a hero to do? The stage is set for the final act in Kutaro's saga. Now back to Kutaro's tale. If you think we're done with the weird, you haven't seen anything yet. Hot on General Monkey's heels, Kutaro and Picarina stumbled into a steep, snowy mess of peaks called the Mean Moon Mountains. The last Moonstone Shard was all Kutaro needed to free his soul from its puppet prison and return to his home down on Earth. But our hero remained troubled as he climbed. He knew General Dragon and that clock had given the Moonbear King control over every last child's soul. As Jack Frost nipped at the boy's fingers and toes, a cold and unshakable suspicion was starting to tug at his heart. Wait, Your Highness, this is all a terrible mistake. <laughs> Did I mention your fur looks especially lustrous today? Spare me the theatrics. I know exactly who you are. Oh, then get your grimy paws off me, Cappy! You thought you could pull a fast one on me, eh, Granny? But you were wrong! Once I've slapped down every last soul of every child on Earth, no moon goddess, not even the sun, will be able to stop me! Ultero <laughs> still can! Calibras chose him for a reason! The power of the four champions will see him through to his final task! <laughs> He's going to restore the White Moonstone and bring light back to this realm, you poor stupid bear! I can't wait to watch him knock the stuffing oh, out of you! Oh, shut up! <laughs> Bring it on, Kutaro! Bring him down, Kutaro! <laughs> you will never complete that Moonstone, boy! Never! Stand and fight, you coward! At the very first glimpse of Kutaro, General Monkey ran as fast as his legs would take him. You knew it had to come eventually. It's time for the ice stage. And we are actually dealing with ice physics. So, this is gonna be a fun one. Gee, hey, got a grub. I wonder if those icicles will fall. They just might. Let's find out. Careful you don't slip on the icy patches. And somehow, even though I thought I was clear, I was not. What is that? Well, let's examine it. It's a female yeti. We're gonna see her a few times. Uh, sure is wobbly. I hope it doesn't collapse. Oh, I hate high places. It's a Mrs. Yeti. A what? Yep, we see her again. And she runs away. We should find her at least one more time. Whoa! Watch your step! We've got slippage! Yeah, just stay calm, dear. Slow and steady wins the race. No, it doesn't! So as you can see, these are some special patches of ice that we can get rid of. Thankfully. I would hate climbing this heaven to have them completely frozen in our way. <laughs> and also bomb him out of the way. These guys 
guys are sound sleepers. Well, no who kidding. says Yeti, Yeti can't hibernate? Bounce on their stomachs to get up higher. And keep going. And what? I missed? Okay, there we go. Shake loose some snow and ice from the trees. And we can keep going. Whew, that guy was right in the way. There we go. Lots of grubs hanging out here. Actually, wait a second. What is going on with this tree? Um. You're not a tree, deceiver. <laughs> it was a person masquerading as a tree with some interesting underwear. Yeah, that's weird. And now, oh, come back. No! Okay, I lost that head. There was no help in that one. Now slam this, and once again, use some snowflakes to head on up. Hey, look! Hey, it's Snowflake! Snowflake? Yeah, three encounters later, we're tight like that. <laughs> so apparently her name is Snowflake. Examine this one, and... The Yeti Head. So that was nice of her to give us that. Let's move on through. You will never catch me! <laughs> <laughs> and this guy's up to it again. What are you doing there? Are you trying to get butt pneumonia or something? I don't think butt pneumonia is a thing, Picarina. I think it's just pneumonia. Anyway, slide down. With each passing moment, the Moon Bear King's power increased. The mountain was a stubborn, snowy sentinel, but Kuturo forced himself to trudge on. He had to complete the White Moonstone. He just had to. Indeed he does. So, let's pull this to use more snow to get across. And again. There we go. We should be able to just run across here. There we go. The tunnel's buried in snow! Ugh, darn that monkey! Come on. You could try to keep that spot above the spikes in place, but there's not really much of a call for that. General Monkey was a crafty one. He knew he didn't have to fight Kutaro. He'd already won, just so long as he kept the last Moonstone Shard out of reach. In the end, it wasn't brute strength or poison, but ingenuity that was giving Kutaro the most trouble. These two grubs can be tricky. You want to make sure to use the hook claw to get them so that you're not risking them falling off and losing credit. And look! A couple more grubs. Huh, what's in here? Squirrels! Yep, they're just hanging out. And that one on the left looks kind of fat. Of course, I guess he is hibernating. And that is... A Creepy looking Oni or As something. As Kuturo climbed higher, the snow quickly turned to a blizzard. Snowballs, great and small, began tumbling down the slope. A gift from Monkey? Who knows? And as you can see there, you see a giant snowman head coming at you. All you have to do is examine it, and you'll get the snowman head. Yes, examine the snowman head to get the snowman head. That makes, um,. Actually, a surprising amount of sense. Anyway, what happens if I examine this guy? Nothing. He's just causing the blizzard. <clears throat> okay. Well, let's move onward. Nice thing is your shield can destroy these. 
slam oh, here. Thank you, secret passage. I've had enough of winter trying to kill me. There we go. Now, did we miss something? I feel like we did. No, just a blizzard section that we were able to bypass. And I went back into. Come on. Now. Uh, did here. we just crash Santa's secret lair? And you probably thought Christmas trees, stockings, and presents were an earth thing. <laughs> they didn't finish decorating the tree. Lame. There we go. Once you head inside, that grub will eventually fall off, as you saw, and that's how you take care of him. Now... It is indeed Santa's secret lair. Sort of. You know what? Why don't we decorate it? I agree. Put the appropriate decorations on in the right place. Yay! It's a present from Santa! Oh, the lousy cheapskate! I guess the economy's bad in the North Pole, too, huh? Why don't you just give us some coal, Santa? You and your stupid beard. <laughs> Picarina's never happy. She gets something for free and complains that it's not enough. Anyway, we can use the streamers here to get up to the gate. A world of white stretched as far as the eye could see, but there was still no sign of General Monkey. No sign of General Monkey, but lots more snow. Hey, another Yeti head. Maybe we'll need to use that soon. In fact, right here is where we use it. Oh, I love the skiing. Uh, oh dear. What is it about humankind's fascination with giant, hairy ape men living deep in the mountains? The Himalayas have their Yeti, the Rockies their Bigfoot or Sasquatch, and then there's the Chinese Yaren, Japan's Hibikon. The list of sightings goes on and on. Were they just big bears? The last remnants of Gigantopithecus, the tallest primate in history? The debate rages on. But one thing is clear. These creatures are very real, and certainly not bald-faced lies concocted by slackers who wanted to get out of work in the coal mines, or half-baked attempts by men dressed in ghillie suits to drum up some extra cash for their Everest climb. Certainly not that. Yeah, these blizzards are very annoying. Come on. Whew, there we go. Got it just in time. Thankfully, you don't really have to deal with the blizzards on the first one, but the second one, they're a pain. Now we've got some of these icy platforms coming down the cliff. At least we should. Move away a little. Uh, here they come. What you want to do is ride one of them down, and you get a hundred sparkle. Ooh, you can use a tree to get back up to safety. What the heck? How do we get up? General Monkey's down escalator only went in one direction. Down. Into the abyss. Find it, Katoro! Keep climbing! It's not too bad as long as you just don't fall in between them. And now... We hear something odd. Oh. Oh. Is that a... a... Don't even start. Okay, so normally you'd have to jump over these blocks and pound that spot to work on defeating this giant symbol monkey. But we have the snowman head, so let's use it. Ha! 
See that? Never turn your back on nature. And by nature, she meant a magically induced and therefore completely unnatural phenomenon. <laughs> that is one way to put it. And we get the Christmas tree head here. Yep, got a whole bunch of Christmas trees and snowmen hanging out. Pretty nice. Thank you, snowman, for defeating that boss for us. And as we get up higher here, we can take out these grubs. And already, it's time for the Christmas tree action! Let's see what happens. Oh, he decorates it! Ho, ho, ho! <laughs> nice. Childhood totally ruined. And we have a roulette, of course. What do we get? He crashed into it. Also, those reindeer look evil. Then again, I guess it is the Moon Bear King. So, moving on. There's Monkey. <laughs> Why not just give up? Why not give up? Because we're gonna take you down. Kutaro followed General Monkey right into the icy moor at the mountain's peak. Say your prayers, Ape Face! Okay, now this section can be a little tough. Getting through it's no problem. Getting through it while getting the trophy can be tricky. But I'll guide you through each of it. We need to do seven specific things as we go. Let's start off. Pretty easy to begin with. And right off the bat, they give you a trick. You do not want to hit this body slam symbol. You want to go to the right and... Come on. Oh, aw. Oops. Oh, we scared it. Easy, fella. <laughs> we won't eat ya. Okay, well, I forgot you actually have to examine first. And then you go up and to the right. We'll take care of that spot we bombed in a minute. Hey, look. It's a bear. All right, that's the first guy. We're taking care of him. He almost made it to the top. Now we drop down, and because we bombed here, we can go to the right and see this guy. Aw, poor scared little bear. That's all we need to do for him. Now, we're going to drop down, and you're going to see a bear skiing in the background. We're going to have to jump at the absolute end of the cliff to make it as far as possible to get credit. So, here we go. Check it out! Not even Monkey can outrun us now! A new challenger has appeared! Don't you let him win! I think I got it. I think. Yes! Right over the K-line! Did you see that crisp start? That beautiful form! Yes, if you make it all the way past and jump farther than he does, he gives you a round of applause. You have to do that to get credit for this one. Now, we're going to go up and to the right. And look, we got a giant mechanical penguin. Now, examine him to get the penguin head. We're going to switch away because we want to save that. Don't want to lose it. Now, here is the toughest part of this trophy. We're gonna have to go down the hill and we're gonna have to destroy a snowball chasing us before we get to the first jump. Because at that point, we're gonna have to jump off and cut along a seam. So, let's do this. Do not speed up your descent this time. Pink was on your six, jump! All right, there he is. Wait for him to come along. That was close. Oh, I missed it! Okay, well, let's go back real quick. Alright, let's try this again. We managed to destroy the snowball, but we did not grab onto that seam we have to cut on. So, one more time. Penguins on your six! Jump! Here we go. That was close! What the? Oh my gosh! Missed it again! Okay, 11th time is the charm. We can do this. 
Penguins on your six! Jump! Alright, wait for the snowball. That was close! What the- Oh my gosh! <laughs> hey! Nice work with the misplayed scissoring! You training for the biathlon or what? Whew. Oh! A frozen mammoth! Okay, we made it. The trick is you have to speed up for that jump. So you've got to get rid of the snowball, then speed up, jump, and time your cuts just right. Anyway, after that, you will examine the mammoth. And he heads on down. It's kind of a cool looking room. I like the aesthetic of that. Anyway, move on. And we got another circle. It's monkey! <laughs> yeah. Move on one more time for another mammoth in the ice. It's a roulette mammoth. What's it gonna give us? Hopefully something good. Heads! A whole bunch of them. And we finished up with the Triceratops head, apparently. Now, before you move on, you'll see there's a bear stuck in the ice behind him. Free him. Aw, he was a little cold. Well, no surprise, he was stuck in ice. Now, we're going to keep going down, and we're going to find a whole bunch of people gathered together. It... It looks like it's our new friends. All the ones we've encountered. The various bears, the mammoth, even that penguin. So, let's examine them for a group picture. There's the camera. Oh, I love it. I like we get to see the shot and Monkey apparently photobombed the shot and we didn't notice it happen. So with that, we get the trophy on the rocks. One of the trickiest trophies we've ever gotten. Sorry for the sudden cut there, had a small recording issue. Anyway, now that we've taken care of this group, let's move on further down. What more could be awaiting us? Maybe more penguins. Let's speed up here so we don't have to deal with them. What? Is this a team sport now? Oh, we made it! Ah! Our heroes tumbled from the frigid peak into a scorching volcanic crater. Extreme! Extreme is right. Forget ice. It's now fire time. Make sure to watch out for the blasts of lava coming up. And... Oh, right. There's nothing up here. Head to the right, and we'll see another grub. Eventually. There he is. Took care of him. And now, that is absolutely terrifying. Give me a different head. There we go, back to the Christmas tree head, which is so fitting inside this lava-filled chamber. Anyway, move onward. Ugh, Oof. Finally a little piece. I don't think we're gonna be able to go up into the right. Jump, jump! <laughs> yeah, this is not the kind of thrill ride you wanna be on. Behind you! Lava can reach temperatures over ten times the boiling point of water. A wooden puppet would be vaporized instantly. Huh? Keep moving! Yeah, we got lava chasing us now, so now we're in a real hurry. Kutaro weaved his way through the bursts of hot magma. I always think those things are going to hurt me, but they don't actually hit you. They're just there for looks, I guess. Keep going fast to avoid this guy. Jump over the lava, uh, or fireballs. I told you that thing! Oh, and we made it to the bottom. And now, time to just take care of the grubs. 
Oops. There's several of them here. Should be six as we go around. Okay. Great Scott! Everyone knows what this is. It triggered human evolution and made us intelligent. This is a... It's a rock. No, it's a... A rock. An ordinary black rock. <laughs> Maybe not. Let's examine it. No harm in touching an ordinary black rock. Ah! What have you done? Get the head, Kotaro, and let's move. I love the nice reference to, you know, Space Odyssey and pretty much any classic sci-fi movie with a giant black obelisk. And I think that should be the last grub. Yeah, that should be all six of them. Let's slam down here and see what happens. You can't run away from us now, monkey! <laughs> you thought I was running away? <laughs> I was running toward! <laughs> a rocket? You had a secret rocket? He also had a secret volcanic base designed to hide the secret rocket. I mean, what self-respecting mad scientist wouldn't? <laughs> but gravity so was no match for Kutaro as he sheared through the stratosphere and up into outer space. <laughs> well, that's all she wrote. We're stuck here forever. This looks like fun. Can I play? Do we look like we're playing? Wait, Ying Yang, how'd you get up here? Forget that. The witch has been snatched by the Moon Bear King. You have to save her. Save her? <laughs> You're kidding, right? Why would we? She was gunning for the Moonstone right from the start. At least now, she won't get in the way of reviving the goddess and sending Kataro home. You know, I think you're missing the litter box for the droppings. Hey, we've got two things to worry about. An ugly monkey and the Moonstone. Is the witch on that list? No! Now help us! Fine, but hurry up and choose your transportation. You've got a monkey to pursue. All right, I'll pick. Okay, this seems like a good place to wrap it up. After finishing an ice level, which turned into a fire level, we are now in space. Also, if you hadn't gotten the other Flying Circus trophy by this point, climbing after that rocket is a fantastic place to get 20 consecutive boost cuts in midair. Anyway, I think that will do it, and next time, we're chasing after Monkey through space. Yeah... This game just gets crazier and crazier. If you've enjoyed the video, make sure to click like and subscribe and follow me on Twitter. I'll see you guys next time.